50 Cent is back at it again, throwing shade at Diddy and now dragging Jay-Z into the mix. He's relentless, I tell you. So, 50's first move? He slaps Jay-Z's face on a milk carton, labels him missing, and asks, Anybody seen J-L-O-L? Classic 50, using humor to stir the pot and poke fun at Jay-Z's silence amidst all the chaos. Then, he ups the ante with a pic of Jay-Z waving at a camera, joking that it's the last place Jay was spotted, waving at Diddy's private jet. Sure, the pic's old, but that doesn't stop 50 from cracking jokes and keeping the drama alive. Gotta hand it to him, he knows how to keep things spicy. 50 Cent just doesn't let up. He was trolling Puffy after Homeland Security raided his cribs as part of a sex trafficking probe. This time, he dropped a deep fake video of Trump giving Puff a piece of his mind. In the vid, fake Trump goes off, calling Puffy out for messing with R. Kelly and getting his digs in about the raid. And guess what? Meek Mill gets dragged into the mess too, with Trump asking for a copy of Meek's supposed sex tape. So, Homeland Security rolls up to Diddy's LA and Miami spots, but he's nowhere to be found. His boys, Christian and Justin, get nabbed in LA though. They're after laptops, flash drives, anything linking Puff to the allegations. Later, Puff's spotted in Miami and his jets traced to Antigua. And let's not forget the lawsuits raining down on Puffy. First, Cassie hits him with rape and sex trafficking allegations. Then, another woman accuses him and Harve Pierre of gang raping her back in 03. And now, Lil Rod's suing him for sexual assault. Cassie and Rod's lawyers are all for the raid, hoping it's time Puff faces the music. Diddy, once hailed as a titan of the hip-hop industry, rose to prominence with his groundbreaking music and visionary entrepreneurship. From his early days as a producer and artist to the founding of Bad Boy Entertainment, he seemed destined for greatness. With ventures like Sean John Fashion and Ciroc Vodka, he solidified his status as a mogul with an empire spanning music, fashion, and spirits. As Diddy expanded his horizons with love records and dropped tracks from his latest album, Album, the Love Album, Off the Grid, featuring heavy hitters like Justin Bieber and Mary J. Blige, his world took a dramatic turn. Suddenly, he found himself embroiled in a storm of lawsuits, each one more damning than the last. Accusations of sex trafficking and assault rocked Diddy's once unshakable empire. Cassie, his ex-girlfriend, dropped a bombshell lawsuit, but the allegations didn't stop there. But amidst the chaos, Diddy remains defiant. With his legal team by his side, he vehemently denies every accusation proclaiming his innocence to the world. Yet, the lawsuits keep coming, each one threatening to chip away at his carefully crafted image. And it's not just Diddy feeling the heat. The entire music industry is under scrutiny, with lawsuits against big names like L.A. Reid and Steven Tyler, shining a spotlight on the dark underbelly of fame and power. The reckoning long overdue, a wake-up call for an industry built on exploitation and silence. As Diddy navigates the treacherous waters of litigation, the world watches with bated breath. Will he emerge unscathed, or will the weight of his alleged transgressions prove too much to bear? Only time will tell. But one thing's for certain. The era of unchecked power in Hollywood is coming to an end, and Diddy may be its most high-profile casualty.